Okay, you want this, so this will go here. And then you'll want, like, two orbs here. And then... You need this, you need that. And then... You clearly need this. So you'll take this instead. You can also take this. You'll need two here. Um... I honestly still don't understand it. I'm just like, honestly, I'm using deduction, but I'm not getting it. <laughs> whoa, 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 what just happened? I, were you guys always there? Did you just spawn? Um, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, interesting. My crits are not staggering these guys anymore. I don't know why. Oh, maybe, maybe the stagger is so high on these guys that I need it on these weapons specifically. No, I actually have no idea. Or maybe these guys... Yeah, I know, I know, they're all subliminal. Or maybe these guys don't get staggered? Ha! Jesus Christ, man! I also have no idea how that works, but it did. What do you have for me? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You have one gorgeous. If I hadn't died, I could have bought that. Oh, is this where Urlock is sleeping? As soon as an enemy shows a little bit of resistance to any damage or... Or, like, poise breaking mechanics, it really doesn't work, the combat really stops working, because, like, as soon as you... Like, I literally just pressed my key, I just double-tapped and I did two attacks there. That's how the game is, it doesn't have, like, a cooldown. And now these characters are, like... One-to-one -one locking onto me. Um, is he... Is he on the lock on? Holy shit, easy! What's the way to one to one tracking? You think this game can sustain that? What, you forgot I exist? Guess what? So did your parents. Oh wow, that stagger recovery is huge on them. Or I guess I played... Or I play the same way like before. I keep on using running attacks as soon as there's some cooldown on their attacks, which is gonna take forever to kill them again. Ah, another golden tube. Okay, I guess I'll buy the other golden tube so I can... I remember playing a PlayStation 2 game that did exactly this. You could buy, like, random items. Where is it? Yeah? Huh? I'm sorry, it's RNG? Yeah. I could have sworn he had the trinket! Uh, but yeah, it reminds me of a PlayStation 2 game where, like, it, like the developers made the game, like, so hard that in order not to lose money and stuff when you die, you had to, like, buy random... You had to buy, like, random items so you don't lose the money. Uh, yeah, what do you want, mage? That didn't kill you? <laughs> he just runs in! I am, I'm, I'm helping! <laughs> Please stop running away! Oh my god, your parents did not raise a little bitch, did they now? I'm helping! You're definitely helping, man! You helped me real good! I hope your parents left you from all the helping you gave them. Is this RNG's... Okay, is he RNG? <laughs> Stamina, you suck, man! Can I kill this guy? Can I kill this guy by the end of the year, maybe? He has the same move as the Hydronaut boss. But his tracking is much more aggressive for a non-boss character. 
don't worry, you'll eventually die, right? There, he died. How can you dodge in the middle of attack and if I tap my buttons twice accidentally I'm locked into combat mode? Hey, you loser. Cut everything now, like, takes forever to die. At least I can keep on the debuff. It feels like every single enemy should have this type of... Just the startup frames this should be this slow. If the attack is fast, that is fine, but the startup frame should be this slow. A huge shark. It's not that weak, man. Ah! Wow, holy shit, what are your defenses, man? Oh, I think it's because I'm missing one of my, like, both weapons need to hit. I, okay, I don't know, actually. My damage seems to be very low. Shut the fuck up, man. What? No door. Why is it called Baron Hold? What, somebody held a Baron here once? <laughs> what is it, mage? I'll save you. Ow. Hit my back! <laughs> Get down, Mr. President, but without seeing what you're protecting. Oh my god, man, I just want to die with these puzzles. Okay, where does this go? Okay, whatever, I guess that, that makes sense in some ways, huh? Okay, why is it like this? Does it look like these look like royal chamber ch 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 chambers to you? Sorry, I had a stroke there. I mean, I guess it is. A royal chamber that leads to the dungeon and chambermaid high executioner Urlock. Hey loser. That man, so chill out, man. Take a chill pill. I can't see with all the bloom, are you? Man, you really are trying to let off some steam, huh? Too bad apparently my snow arrows don't let you. Don't you even dare for a second, man. Blow a gasket, honestly. Now this, I'm too lazy to do anything else. I just use steampeak.com and see what the soul's like or whatever. Oh, the cathedral! Well, at least this was something. The game actually had an interconnected world, which I find very amazing. I never thought in a million years I'd be playing a game where they had the interconnected world, but apparently they do. So, snow works pretty much on everything. I think the secondaries might always be, like, possible to activate them. Even against resistant enemies. Man, let don't. Under what prerogative does the arrow go over there exactly? Also, yeah, because, because the weapons in this game, I, they're in third person. That's something else that's very surprising for me. Like, all the... Shut the fuck up, who do you think you're shooting at? I'm not your mom's dick. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Huh, my poison resistance is higher now for some reason. Also, is there a way to get down there? Like, maybe a shortcut later on? Because I have a key. Yesterday when I was editing the video, I saw that I have a key to a, like a starting area in the game. And I think I need to go all the way back there. Oh, it. Oh, I think I know what's happening. I think it might be like level. Level regressed. If you're too strong for an area, you don't get like any more XP, so you don't spend hours farming, I think. So you move on eventually. Oh, then this means the merchant shop also changes based on like either the area or the level. Yeah! Oh, that explains quite a bit, actually. How do I get to these? How do I get to the platform things? I also have no idea you're supposed to get to the platform things yet. There might be like a... Like, now that I think about it, there might be a teleport spell? There might be a teleport spell, there might be like a jumping skill. There might be something that my character doesn't have access to. So I can't uh, do anything about that. 
Yeah, like that thing over there, I have no idea how to get to it. 1,333 damage. It feels like sometimes I should be doing that amount of damage against some of the enemies. Venomous Mercenary Blades! I came all the way back here for that, huh? By the way, are these good, the, the poison stacks? I don't use poison in, in games anymore at all. Well, I don't know, it died one hit anyways. What happens if I just kill myself here? Can I teleport back to that checkpoint previously? Yeah, I can do that, okay. I'm pretty sure I can't do any damage against these guys. Oh no, I can. Ah, where was the surface key? Yeah, yeah. What's over here? Uh, why did I ask questions? Also, I hope the game saved. Uh... I have no idea. That's it? Uh... Aqueduct. Developers must be a fan of Path of Exile. Too bad they didn't choose the very game to be a fan of, huh? <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I know, I quit uh, Path of Exile Cold Turkey, I know. Apparently I'm one of the few people that can do that. Hold on, this is what happens when you solve people randomly. Fuck you, honestly! Fuck Path of Exile as well! Because, because the problem was Path of Exile, like, you know, at the end of the day, it was a pretty bad game. It wasn't bad because of the game, it was bad because of the people. Like, like, like you think, like, like you know, when the graphic card thing happened in 2022 and everybody's losing their minds. For me, that was like, whatever. That That is for me like a weekend in Path of Exile. Wow, I was doing almost... What the fuck do you want, man? Uh, lock on to the old man in front of you! But yeah, Path of Exile, like... Like, a uh, fine game, whatever, but like, the community made it almost unbearable. Well, they actually did make it unbearable. Like, Path of Exile's greatest weakness is community. Y you know, they take themselves so seriously, especially when it comes to the market, that it... They treat it like as, a, as an actual job. I mean, it is because people make like hundreds of dollars from like, flipping the market and RMTing stuff. They like, made it unbearable, honestly. Basically, Path of Exile community ruined Path of Exile. Like, it takes you years just to buy one ring in Path of Exile to make progress on your character. And whenever you point out it's just a game, why are you guys taking it so seriously? They're also like, yeah, it's just a game. Why Why do you want free stuff? And I'm like, what are you talking about? That's what I was asking for. No, you clearly want free stuff because you said it's just a game. And I'm like, okay, yeah. And? Sorry, my bad. Ah, oh, my bad. Did poison trigger? Oh, poison is actually good against people who are like... Unlocked? Unlocked? Unlocked. Did I... Do it? Oh! Oh, I had to... <laughs> what? I had to double-click them for some reason. Starlight Cavern. See, it's an oxymoron because like starlight inside caverns, how does that work? I'm sorry, are you a robot? We started with robots or are you still a skeleton? Oh, robots? Do robots get poisoned? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Why is my poison getting weaker over time? Let me guess, I can't do anything with this, right? Yep, it's the wrong way, sorry, I can't climb that. My assassin doesn't have the dexterity to climb that. Yeah, 
Oh, everything on the resistance is percentage based. Um, then. Fire? <laughs> and we started! And we started! Yeah, go inside the plant. Ah, uh, see? People inside the caves are weak with fire? You see, the dwarves are weak against fire. Of course, it makes sense. Starlight contraption. When you say contraption, do you mean like something that's gonna kill me or do I need to progress? I didn't tell you to jump there, girl, but okay. Huh? Starlight yellow key. Oh, you're gonna be like that. Okay, I see. The Inquisitor Fire Lord. Starlight Garrison. Does this look like a garrison? I can't know what I'm looking at, honestly. Man, fuck you, Codeine, bitch! Did I hit you or did I hit your boyfriend by mistake? Eat a dick. Is that a dropped item? Yeah, it was. Please don't puzzle. Please stop getting stuck. Thank you. Never mind, it's a puzzle. They came in puzzled all over the place. It was puzzling time. I'm very puzzled. I don't know how that makes any sense, but it does. I guess, like, the one thing overrides the other one. So technically the game is only reading one of the puzzle pieces, one of the runes, instead of all of them. But in my mind it doesn't make any sense. Then why even put the piece over there? Why not simplify the puzzle for Souls-like? Instead of, like, adding extra stuff that adds nothing. Wait, but was there any other place to go? Well, I got me answer. I don't want you to yay yaying me for. I think you have the golem move set. Yeah, you do. It's the worst one for me. That plant bear not block me. Amazing. Amazing that they actually have a unique model and, uh... I mean, mind you, it's really deformed because they're, they're, I think it's the same skeleton, but they're trying to convert the model to the skeleton. Uh, but the fact that the model isn't, like, one-to-one, -one, like, the same anatomy as the golem, that's amazing. Even Code Vein didn't do that. In Code Vein, like, enemies were just literally reskinned on the same, like, you know, height and, like, body type. Okay, Lushenko? Jesus Christ, man. Yes, yeah, some of these. Some of these enemies are definitely too janky for the melee in the game. It doesn't work. Got you in the butt. Okay, wait. I don't think they're supposed to be weak against this. Um. <laughs> wow, why every time I switch to melee I have to do this? Can you die? Are you- I'm sorry, are you reading the weapon I have in my hand? I'm sorry, the game is reading the input of my weapon, the type of weapon I might have. No, I guess I just like to spam that every time. How long will it take me to kill that enemy if I play that legit? I have no idea, I think at least two hours. Eh? 
You dodge in the middle of an attack, man. How is that fair, honestly? Am I that underlevel that I'm getting like 600, 3000 XP without even trying? Also, what that... That robot is like weak. Am I gonna save like a baby spider for their parent spiders? Oh, shut the fuck up, Nostradamus. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This really sucks, though. Not gonna lie. This is like a really actually bad area. Yeah, this was actually badly thought out. Not gonna lie, though. Um, I think it's a little bit too much to have, like, every single elemental enemy around here constantly having me switch weapons around. What was the other asshole? <laughs> Very interesting. What are these easy ass puzzles like sometimes in late game? Freezing! Why freezing? You really like that rock, huh? Ah, curse them, curse them! I was think them, I was think them eat them all. I will. What happened? <laughs> Somebody froze my darling Nidia in place. This ice is magically can melt except by magical fire. <laughs> Nidia, my Nidia, curse them! <laughs> At least I'm free. Thank you. <laughs> my Nidia, you're free. Thank you, Wonder. I'll be forever in your death, but perhaps you'd like some of my netballs. I cut my <laughs> web. Now tell me, would you prefer big pocketing or small pocketing? Don't talk to your mom like that. Uh, small pokey things. Necromatic mercenary blades. Oh. Here you are, Wonder. Is it better? No, I don't think it is, right? I mean, Leech's life, that's about it, I think. Also, it's been a while since I leveled up, I know. But there's nothing I can do. Because as soon as I get my XP to level up, the thing is gonna spawn. Let's see how much damage this does. Uh, not too bad if I could level it up, actually. Aha, uh -huh, speaking of that... Hold on! Oh wow, never mind this. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! What do you want, loser? Hello, Cold Vein Attacks! I think you're unique? Huh? Um, that guy was not unique. <laughs> yeah, I know, I don't know what weapon to upgrade, man. Like, like, it seems like... Like, uh, you know, there's no point to upgrading a weapon, but also you want to, just to get something out of it. But then, I don't know what they want from the level design. <laughs> I, I don't know how they made the level design and, and like what I'll be looking for, you know? Okay, I guess I won't upgrade any weapon until I get to the, like, um, this is unfortunate, but I'm not gonna upgrade any weapon until I get to literally the last boss. Ooh, man, this is not a good idea what they did here. This was actually pretty bad. This was... This was actually a pretty bad idea! This is not good design! This is, um... This is bad! This is not good at all! I don't know what their idea here was! This is not how you make a game! You don't constantly have the player switching weapons to different elementals within the same area! Right, you're weak against electrical because you're a robot, even though you have, like... Even though your color is red, so the player would think fire. I think maybe I should have also specialized in mage. It seems like range damage is a lot better than... 
Oh, how does this look like a fight arena? Are those... <laughs> what did I have? Snow, snow on your tits? The matriarch. What are you against? Weak against, crude. Hold on. Let me switch around my weapons until I find the right one that is strong against them. Time for the techno! No, you are strong against that, I guess. Never mind. Let's try... To freeze ya! Oh, look at all that thickness! Time to pierce you! 49? What? Which one is more than the other? Hold on, let me poison her, I guess. Time to get toxic, baby! Look at the toxicity that is not proccing yet. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow, that is actually strong. Ha <laughs> ha. I guess it takes one to know one on how dirty you are. Get your nasty feet. Jesus Christ. Take it easy. My God, who touched you in the morning? Nobody, that's who. Uh, yeah, no, I know it got pretty bad here. Um, yeah, I don't know why the developers... Uh, I think the developers forgot it's not... I I think the developers forgot, like, the gameplay should be gameplay, not looking in your inventory every few seconds to know what might be effective against the boss, you know? I might have forgotten about that part in the Bible. Show me your mounds of flesh! Ha <laughs> ha! Time for the skin to rot up! Ah, oh, look at her! Punching and winding, giving the good old one-two. Is that why you don't have a husband? Because you gave him the old one-two. <laughs> Lola Mal Ruffle. Boomer jokes. Don't hit me, spin to win nothing. There we go. Oh. Why are you tracking me so hard all of a sudden? Man, your ass is really riding you, isn't it? Literally. It's not death, but snow, snow, but it'll have to do. You bitch! Why do you have the attack patterns of a golem? You look like one, help! Why is she so fast? Man, holy shit, how do you play this game? You see the point? Um. Um, uh, okay, let leave the jokes behind for a second. How do you fight against half of these enemies now? What, the developer got mad? That everyone on Reddit didn't worship this game when they posted it on rgames.com? I... Do you have, like, two attacks that have the same startup frames? I... It feels like you are trying to kick over there, but then you realize you can't because of the mounds you have on you. By the way, why why is why you rock hard? Ah. Hey, no poop with all the skeletons. Why do you, why nipples covered by skeletons? Are they healthy? Can you get poisoned already, you stupid bitch? Oh, there we go. Oh God! Don't ask me why some stones are weak against poison. Okay. I missed that part in the Bible. I want both you both. Can I get your bra? Do you think the skeletons are happy? Oh no, one of the skeletons is broken. Never mind, he wasn't happy. What did I get? I didn't read. Sorry, I never learned how to read. Starlight Chasm. Also known as in some places, Chasm. Yeah, I have no idea how to avoid half of these attacks anymore. It, it seems like there is something, a specific skill I should have bought at one point to make it actually happen. Where are you chad walking for, huh? Okay, so explain to me why at the start, you guys give me like a fire sword or whatever. What happened there? I won't move. You move. Never mind, I moved. Well, technically I dodged, so you know I still don't lie. Maybe now everything is weak against poison. You'll be so... F uh, see, this game is actually smart. What they did is, like... Uh, you're starting weapons early on of, like... Po
guys? What are you doing? Okay, my dudes, not even not even ARPG games require this much like like inventory management. What the fuck is this? I know I should be equipping the weapons technically, but you know that's not gonna happen. Usually players wanna have like the least amount of items equipped like on hotkeys at the same time to optimize it. You're not what? Did the developers think that, like people are actually gonna do this correctly? Don't, don't even lie. Just because you're cross-eyed, lady, doesn't mean it's my problem, okay? Flaming mercenary swords. I don't know why I got that. That guy was weak against... Wait, wait, hold on. The guy with the fire pattern was weak against poison this time, unlike the other guys. Did the developers make mistakes in the game? Like, I think th I think they actually, like, applied the wrong things to the wrong enemies. God, this is like playing Dark Souls 2. This is exactly like playing Dark Souls 2. Remember in Dark Souls 2? Well, I didn't do it. But remember in Dark Souls 2, like, if you, if you see other streamers... Everybody literally just, like, keeps on using poison things. That's, that's how you can tell someone for the first time that is playing Dark Souls 2 isn't playing it for the first time. They actually, like, looked up guides. That's how you can tell. Because of the poison. Y you know, it's, it's very weird for someone who's playing Dark Souls 2 for the first time to naturally just gravitate. Where did my body even go, man? You just one-shot it again. As I was saying before, I got absolutely destroyed. By this... Shut the fuck up, man, at this point. What are we doing with our lives? You know, it's very peculiar for somebody to be playing Dark Souls 2 for the first time and immediately start using poison, just saying, unless they were the guide. I just want to point that out. Oh my god, how do you play this anymore? Yeah, are we done? You should be dead by now, thank you. I feel like there's a skill I'm missing. I don't mean my skill, it's not a skill issue. I mean, like, I literally think there's an upgrade that I'm missing too. Which makes sense. Did you finally find your magnet magnet boots? I'm so sorry about that, honestly. I don't know what you're crying about. I should be the one. Cr developers, developers, why do you start taking your game seriously, huh? Can I get an answer to that? Or we're not gonna get an answer. Are you guys buying time? Did you guys realize your game can be finished in a day? I don't think people can refund this game considering it's technically longer than two hours, I'd say. So I don't know what you guys started panicking for. Maybe next time don't panic in your parents' basement, huh? Maybe get an actual rent going on. <laughs> Man, I'm mean, but seriously. All these attacks are starting to home and track like crazy. And now whatever is in front of me, I can fight it. Yeah, I can't fight any of this right now. I mean, honestly, fuck the collision boxes as well at the end of the day. Let me drink water, maybe I'm in a bad mood or something, but it feels like everything is unfair right now. I'm not making any headway progress, especially with the stupid subliminal messages. Okay, I'll try something. Is this like a Souls-like? Okay, so I can do this. He just one-shot me! Are you gonna tell me I need to invest all my character stats? By the way, I'm only level 20. Are you gonna tell me- Like, you can't level up because of this stupid system, because this is random when this guy will spawn. 
So right now you're gonna tell me this is all my fault because I didn't like get the extra health, which is okay, fine. But also, like, even if I increase, like, you're gonna tell me I need to spend all my points. When I'm doing barely any damage, I need to spend all my points into health and defenses just so I don't get one shot. And sturdiness became pointless, I think. Because uh, sturdiness, like, doesn't, like, you know, what, what does sturdiness do right now for me? If I attack an enemy and they attack me and they kill me in one hit, my poise does nothing, does it now? Huh? Doesn't it? Isn't that right, developers? Why are you strong against poison? Oh my god, this is a poison enemy! A random poison enemy like this in, in front of... <laughs> Where am I going, man, with my life? Holy shit, what's with the tracking, man? Developers, just because your parents didn't love you, it's not my responsibility to take care of you, you know, financially, like a sugar baby. Do enemies follow you forever? Yeah, they do. Th that, that's why I find this very frustrating, because, like, I can't do anything about it. Enemies will follow me forever. Oh my god, even we're about to shoot- Guys, this is not fun. Are we seriously gonna keep on going? That's a poison one. Keep on changing your weapons. I'm pretty sure I don't even have enough slots for all the weapons I need in this area. Oh my god, guys, enough with the enemy running away from player constantly. This is not fun. Who thinks enemies that run away from the player constantly is fun? Dashing drink, the drink that says you can get like run without stamina cost. Or like less stamina cost, but apparently it's not permanent because they've got to put the word in temporary. Sorry, I reached that tilting point where I'm just gonna make criticize every small thing. Um He might be I don't know what it could be, actually. I find this so frustrating, honestly, as well. Like, I, the arrow doesn't make any sense where it's going. Freezing Skull Basher, thanks. Yeah, I start getting frustrated. It's fine when the game doesn't take itself seriously, but as soon as it takes itself seriously, it's, it loses me, like, so hard. Oh my god, can we stop, like, just... Can, can you spawn the stupid guy that has all my XP? Like, I don't want to spend, like, sell stuff and spend points if, like, the guy isn't gonna spawn, okay. Um, in this case... I feel like they want me to farm, that's what they're doing. Okay. How about... So at least I don't run out of upgrade materials. By the way, how, m how many, like, XP's floating out there? 61,000! That is, like, about five levels, give or take, which is big, you know, because, like, of all the different things and... Okay, just run through everything, man. Who the fuck cares? Is that open? You're not gonna tell me the bridge has a force field around it. Shut the fuck up. How many do I have out there? 63,000, baby! I, I get what they're trying to do with that ghost thing. It really doesn't work if it stops the player from, like, literally leveling up every time. The bridge is mine. Shut the fuck up. 
skulls! It's all skulls! Giant skulls all over the place! It's all skulls! <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, just run by everything, activate switches, don't learn the map, don't do anything, just keep on throwing your body until things work. I don't know why you went over there. Huh? See, now you lost me. Because I thought I understood the game, but apparently I don't understand anything. Uh-huh. Okay, this goes here, right? Because, like, it takes whatever. And this won't work because it needs two of these. Okay. And then... This one can be technically whatever, but I don't understand. Yeah? Hmm? I honestly don't understand that. Venomous Mountain Cleaver. Shut the fuck up with rolling through everything! They keep on putting these stupid barrels right on the edge, so the one fun part in the Souls like, which is like, you know, rolling into things, you can't do that, you're not allowed. Shut the fuck up, honestly. He's gonna be right behind me, isn't he? He died, I think. Good for him. I don't care. Sorry, the tip of my roll doesn't break rocks, <laughs> man. I feel like all these defects in the game were fine if it wasn't taking itself so seriously like it does now with the constant annoyance of every small thing. Are you kidding me? There's a stupid puzzle up there. Shut the fuck up! Is this the tower of the final boss? Wasn't there like another area back there? He just one-shot me. Okay, good. I wanted to die anyways because I need to go back. Never mind, this is Cold Vein. He doesn't know how to go. I'm, I'm sorry, what the fuck, man? Never mind, the same quality as Cold Vein. Wait, where is this? <laughs> what the? What? How? Don't ask me how this is balanced, honestly. I don't understand the puzzle still. Oh no, the game was fine until they started doing this thing here. This part here is pretty bad. Um, I'm sorry, this is a new game? Load game. I like how the delete button, you know- Jesus Christ, what the fuck, man? Oh, it's a shortcut! Oh my god, stop summoning your manlets! Uh, I'm not having fun anymore, man! Everything is locking on, homing on! They keep on spawning ads in front of me! I forgot what these guys are weak against, I don't think it's poison. Venomous something. Maybe I can Naruto run across the wall here? No, I can't, I'm almost stuck, I don't know why this is a thing. Why is everybody one-shotting me now? I don't understand. I feel like even if I invest in health, 25 health... Okay, le le let me run the math here. If if I invested every single point into health and not stamina... Okay, give or take. So let's say I started off at like 100 and something. 
I got around 200 health extra. So add on top of that an extra 25. Uh, so 10 levels is 250. I, I'll, like Instead of getting 3 shot or 1 shot, I'll get 2 shot. Except I'm stun locked, so I'll still get like one shot technically. Yeah, no, what happened? Like, no, this air is completely unbalanced in the game. Oh my god. By the way, you're not a poison guy. What? You're a poison guy? I've been playing a lot of these games where I get mad at the end. I don't... I literally, you know what is funny? Game development hasn't improved in the last 20 years. Every single developer is literally the same. They have like that, even in the PlayStation 2 era, you know how games like abruptly ended? Because like the developers didn't balance the last sections of the game, they didn't finish it. You can tell the game is, is not finished. I'm sorry, where the fuck am I? Didn't I like die here? Oh no, I didn't. I died from the Inquisitor. Are you stretching your muscles? Are you holding your belly because you're sick? God, these so many ranged enemies. This is... I don't remember which door this is, although I don't know why I'm opening all these shortcuts right now. Is this the one with the... Yeah, here. Okay, so those enemies do respawn. I was wrong. I shouldn't have complimented the game that, like, they spawn unique, tough enemies that require specific elemental. No. I'm sorry, this just hit Valentino? Guess what? I love Balenciago. I guess you also need a square and you can be whatever, right? Flaming. Wow, this bow was all the way here. Let me go through the whole- holy shit, man, guys! What are you doing, honestly? Hello, game's fun! Have we forgotten about that part in the game bible? Yeah, I don't care about codeine, man. Who the fuck cares about some medication that you take when you go to sleep to become racist? I don't know why my character is like, running like Mario, you stupid- Bitch, run, run like Mario. See if that solves any of your problems. Okay, never mind. Ow! How my ears! Ow! I'm sorry, what is that damage from this manlet? So that guy was... Weak against... Yeah, I know, this sucks, right? You telling me? Fire. Wow, this is absolutely disgusting, honestly, at this point. This is disgusting. This is honestly disgusting, in my opinion. This is getting too much. Ah, you can go through the cage! Oh my god, this is disgusting, honestly! What the fuck, developers? Assuming the one child that made this game in their mom's basement don't get kicked out by the end of the year. Oh my god. Yeah, guys. You literally just spawned a manlet in the wall. Uh, what do I do? Yeah? Maybe if you don't have the same casting animation for everything, I'll know what I need to do. He's just summoning manlets! What is this, a manlet build? Um, what is happening? Um... Yo! Yo, what do I do? Sh 
shut the fuck up, man. In a situation like this, you can't simply have the player penalized for anything, honestly. Are we done? Jesus Christ, man. Well, I might sound real whiny, but like, what the fuck? Players run by tough enemies. Like, you know, like after they play the game for the first time, you don't actually force the players for non speedrun reasons to like just dump their body in an area to find out where they need to go because of the difficulty curve. It, it, it feels like the developers knew their game wouldn't sell, so they just threw whatever they could into the dishwasher. Um, so if I die right now, 60, it's gonna be almost 70,000. Oh my god. Oh my god. By the way, I got, I think, how many keys did I get? Did I get all the keys? Um, no, I only got two actually. So hopefully this isn't gonna be a three day game because at this point the taste of the game has like gone out of my mouth honestly. This is not fun anymore. If I sold everything right now, what would I get? Let's say 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, 7, another 4, that's 11, let's say 10,000. Add a couple of these around, let's say, 15,000. 15,000 plus... I'd get a decent amount of points, but, like, this is the problem. If I proc them and the Shadow Ghost appears and I lose them, then I also lose the Shadow Ghost thing, which is worth more. I feel like they really don't think this is true. Also, it doesn't seem like the game has a respect feature, so, you know, if I fucked up my build, what can I do? I'll need to restart the entire game. And I'm not in the market of doing that. Um... Oh, you can re-step on them? Oh! Um, okay, wait. Uh, what was this way to do it? I think it's the L pattern. Um, tick. Tick. Fucking diagonals, man. Okay. Oh, I can't go diagonal! Ah, uh, wow, they're not as you can go diagonal. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm trying to find an elegant way to do it, but I'm not finding it. That's it, a couple of thousand? That's it, that's what you gave me? Oh my god, shut the fuck up, man! Holy shit! Palace Battlement! My ass, it's a battlement of what love? Oh, hi, Cold Vein! Who are you, man? Yeah, no, 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 fuck you. No, this is not happening at all. Like, this is not happening, man. This is honestly not happening. We started! They're gonna run into me! Uh-oh. This is gonna trigger the shade. It's shade in time. Yeah, where's the shade, man? Hold on, no, no, I'm not fighting this legally, man. Shut the fuck up, where is it? Where's my poison? Um, what, the door had a general idea of what it wanted in life? Oh, for Pete's sake, man. Yeah, can I trigger the shade? Where are my subliminal shades? Why is the stamina so slow? Uh, because that's what the developers did. I know why the stamina is slow, because the developers did, like, Dark Souls. The Dark Souls games have, like, flat stamina region. But the problem is the stamina isn't huge, you know? Compared to the base.
You get poisoned? Yes, you do. Another problem is, by the way, I, I, I know this is not apparent at all, but if you pay attention, the bow is the, literally the only thing that has, like, quick enough frames that you can dodge in it. Wow. Look at that. Jesus Christ! Uh, okay. Wow. Um... Well, this was a waste of points, huh? Second wind. Round two of stamina will occasionally grant a second wind, recovery a large amount of stamina over time. Higher levels of proficiency increase how often second wind occurs. Uh, reduce damage taken from any source if the character hasn't taken damage recently. Higher levels of proficiency grant more things. I don't know how that works. Do you have numbers or did you forget? Because I love this part here. Increased chance of recovering an arrow after shooting an enemy target by 15% up to 45%, even though it's like 15 plus 15 plus 15. So I don't know why they put in the number 45, it's not important at all. And then you have this here, for example, not the health. Oh, by the way, I realized the health only increases by an extra 15 HP, so it's even worse than I mentioned. Reduce the damage taken from any source. If this character hasn't taken damage recently, higher levels of this, higher levels of this proficiency increased recharge rate. Like, they don't mention what the rate is, and they also don't mention, like, like how much it reduces the damage by, you know? Second Wind, Sword Mastery, Stalwart. Uh, Tribute, spell damage increased when casting spells, while exhausted, no stamina. Sword Mastery, Dagger Mastery. Strike an enemy with an attack or spell will occasionally recover some health based upon damage dealt. Higher levels of this proficiency increase how often health is stolen. Curse hands. Spells and attacks have a chance of cursing enemies. Cursed enemies are slowed and take additional damage from any source of fire, lightning, cold, or poison damage. So maybe I actually did not have the curse thing. Like the lightning, like the other enemies did, which was very weird. Um, cursed enemies are slowed down. I don't know if this is good. But I, I guess anything for damage at this point? Hmm... Increase health. So I, so I have 20 points. If I spent all those 20 points in health, 300, I'd have 600 HP in there right now. Um, with the added 10 right now, so 400. So about 550. Yeah, it would be about 700. It won't be a good investment still. Because I feel like Endurance is doing a lot more for me. Because also stamina doesn't increase by itself, yeah. And everything requires like so much stamina. Um, how did I get such damage? Was it like 69 at one point? Reduces damage taken from any source if this character hasn't taken damage recently. Also, what does recently mean? Like 3 seconds, happy smasher. Standing or killing enemy with a melee attack has a chance of recovering stamina. High levels of this proficiency increase the amount of stamina recovered and a chance of recovery up to a maximum of 60% chance to recover stamina when enemy is stunned. So like each level is 20. Okay, if you don't say 20 and you say 60, I can understand that there is a point to that. Uh, yeah, I'm being mean, I know, but like, man, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, plus two. What is this? I can get 2.25 for all the damages, or I can get an extra 1 point for physical. God, this is also why I don't want to level up half of the time in this game, because, like, I don't know what to pick up. Everything looks useless. Let me fire one arrow from a distance and see, like, if I can proc Curse Hand. I don't see what Curse Hand is about. Yeah, I think it's brocked. I can see another color debuff on it. So the 102 is with debuff. Without it, I forgot what it was. Yeah, let me try the electrical. Two fifty-three. Is that the debuff? Yeah, 
That's a crit, of course. Okay, so that is the debuff. The purple one's debuff. So that's why it confused me because it looked like the lightning, and I was like, oh, lightning must be good because of the debuff, but apparently that's a whole different story. Uh, fuck me. Are you serious, the manlets again? Hold on, I can't hit them. They can't hit me. The game also is definitely not designed for multi fights like this. Um, I can retry the debuff on this guy. Let me check if that's it. 181. Well, 141 actually. Debuff? 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 No, there was a crit. Debuff? 134? Okay, debuff. 134. Don't crit. 134. It went to 150. Give or take, like, what? Uh, an extra 20 damage. If it's percentage, that's gonna be about... 15? I think an extra 15% damage. Although, by the way, I think something happened here. I think the damage is being applied here. I don't think Curse Hand is technically working, because how did I gain, like, 123 damage, like, so fast? Yeah, I'm not sure about this. But no, wait, maybe it didn't, because this is still the same. Okay, who fucking understands this game, honestly? I feel like this game should have been over, like, about two hours ago. I feel like it doesn't have the quality to sustain it more, especially when the enemies are just ganking you at this point. Oh, by the way... I... I noticed something yesterday. I think I do have enough keys... ...to open... ...that gate. Assuming I don't die on my way over there, of course, that's a whole different story. Oh no, I went to the wrong place, I think. Yeah, I went to the wrong place. I think it was the other one. Don't grab me, Dragon's Dogma. Is my potion flat? Yeah, my potion recovery, I think, is like always 50%. Why don't I stick with physical? Because who the fuck, who the fuck knows? Maybe physical uh, near the end of the game is gonna be like also completely useless or something. You know what I mean? For all I know, physical can be completely useless near the end of the game. You know, the boss maybe is like armored or something. I think armored enemies take like no physical damage. And I think I'm going back in the same place? So I think this area literally only has two keys, I think. I, I thought it was like three keys or I need keys for everything. Apparently that's not the case. Um, what did I just get? I'm sorry, the other key was here? For all of them? <laughs> okay, puzzle time! Um, what is yellow? Can I spin this as well? Oh my god. Really, I can't just climb this? Too bad there isn't a guide for this game. I literally checked yesterday if there was a guide there isn't. So... Okay. So are you like the bone hands? And you must be the man falling. I... I think... I... I don't understand this puzzle. Who'd even put, like, a baby's puzzle over here, and for what reason? What, the evil queen came and she was like, put a puzzle for children here! That is so simple that it's gonna confuse people that they think it might be more complicated. I mean, I guess that's one way to... I guess that's one way to win the war! Oh, this is it? That's it, I came all the way... Fuck off, I came all the way back here for a potion that only heals, like, 50% of my HP! Oh, thank you. 
because you know it's not like you can just climb this so now i i already forgot where the exit was it seems like i'm under leveled yeah it, it, i think i am I, I think the developer doesn't expect you to actually be able to play the game properly so they might be relying on the player constantly dying in an area because its XP numbers are definitely not kosher. Was it like this? But no debuff? Ah, debuff works with everything! Jesus Christ. Oh no, I think I do have all the elementals on this. <laughs> Skyrim stealth build. I don't know. I, see, I was re I was right yesterday. I wasn't complaining for no reason. There's barely enough space to like equip all the weapons possible for all the elementals in this area. So I think you need to equip poison and physical only for this area. But you know, like damage is so low on my character that I don't have a choice. Never mind. Thank you. What do you losers want? I'm farming! Jesus Christ, man, fuck you! That is not where my arrows are going, man! There is everybody happy, I'm farming. Did you get hurt by lightning? No, you were... Is there someone down? See, isn't this fun? Can't see having to switch weapons around. Yeah, can you stop moving? Thank you. I might be finally outskilling this area, I think. Um, Mallet. Thank you. Yeah, they're giving me a lot less XP. Uh huh. Yeah, developers, hi. <laughs> hi. Okay, sorry about that. That was a waste of time. I went all the way back for that one loot. Um, apparently the third key was right there. <laughs> 